I was raised on the concept that it takes a village to raise a child. Pocatello's not mine, but I feel as though as long as I, I live here, I, I have to be involved in some way. All right, guys. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Our battle has been very successful in Pocatello. It's gained a lot of interest. It's something new, it's something different, and a lot of people are like, hey, I wanna, I wanna check this out. Thank you all for coming out to the 2022 Art Battle Pocatello. My role in Art Battle is I'm the host. I'm also the DJ. You know, it only makes sense. It's my event, why not DJ it too? But this particular Art Battle here in Pocatello, this is the second one. Last year's went really, really well. Uh, we were, we had about 150 people in here supporting these local artists. Everybody had a great time. It was an exciting event because, you know, you actually get to see art come to life right there in front of you. It actually got my name on the map. The coolest part about Art Battle, I do it the first year. I battle with my mentor. I come back and now I have an apprenticeship underneath him. So it gave me a huge job opportunity, a huge business opportunity, a huge art career opportunity, so. It is allowing our local artists to come out and show off their talents in 20 minute increments where they get to paint a picture in front of a large audience and vote it on and then they have a choice or a, an option to auction off their art. All right, come check out, see what's going on. Come get your votes in. I think that that is the hardest part about Art Battle. Not only the 20 minutes that you have to throw down, you have to adapt to your crowd. You have to figure out what they want to buy, what they want to vote for. It's a, it's a whole different level of art on the speed painting for sure. You can see the emotion in the stroke of the brush, you know, or the pencil or whatever medium they use, you know, thick lines, thin lines. So we have a lot of very talented local artists and what this does is it gives them a chance to showcase their talents and it also gives the, the people who support our local artists a place to come and enjoy getting to actually see them put their art together live in person. It, it, it definitely opens up and gives the artist experience to expand their medium. Art Battle is, is worldwide, um, so everybody who follows Art Battle on Facebook can see you. It's exposure. For an artist, I think that's the best way to explain it. Art Battle is exposure. We're just excited to even get to be a part of this and to get to, to witness the talent that actually comes through here. I do believe that this is the start of something bigger and better. I think as each art battle comes, I, I think it will continue to grow. It opened up the community's art scene, you know? There's not, I think I've seen two other people that I battled with last year. So my hope for the art battle in Pocatello is that like after my departure or my PCS from Pocatello is that it continues. Because you gotta leave a legacy, right? legacy. By him bringing the art battle to Pocatello, by him bringing what he did here, by him serving his country and being in Pocatello and then being able to bring this here, that has helped my career out tenfold. I am able to chase my dreams. Um, I'm able to support my family. I have a baby girl coming. He, he brought that here. He brought passion back to my life. And thank you, Jake.